All right, friends, so today we are going to do a beautiful um, stained glass craft. All right, so you're going to need your watercolors. Um, with your watercolors, you're going to need a paintbrush and some water. I would suggest using a wider paintbrush like this one. Um, bigger, bigger paintbrush will make this a little quicker. Um, you're going to need a paper towel. You're going to need scissors. Um, and then you're also going to need a sheet of construction paper. Um, preferably black. I like using black for this, but you can choose any color you want. And then lastly, you're going to need a glue stick. All right, so I'm going to start with folding my paper towel in half because I don't need to use the whole thing. <clears throat> All right, and then I'm going to leave it folded. I'm gonna sneak my scissors in between and cut up the center. Right. Like I said, I'm just going to use half, so then you've got another piece for. I'm going to do this work again. All right. So I'm going to make sure to be working on a mat also because um, it's going to get a little wet underneath it. So make sure that you have something underneath your paper towel so that your table doesn't get messy. Okay. I'm just going to kind of put random splotches of color on my paper towel. Just want to fill it up. It doesn't matter if you are choosing to make a pattern or just doing random spots like me. I'm more so sticking with certain colors on mine. That's Also, you don't have to get all the way to the edge. You want to fill it up, but it doesn't have to be fully to the edge. It might just kind of creep out and make it all the way there, but if it's not, that's okay. Get a little more purple. All right. So you're going to want to find a place to put this <clears throat> to let it dry because we don't want it to stick onto our our mat. Um, I didn't get it super duper duper wet. So it's not dripping, um, so that makes it, gives me a few more options as to where I'm going to put it. Um, but I'm just gonna show you what I chose to do is take it and hang it over my faucet. All right. Fast. 
fast forward back here. Um, I've got, oops, I've got my dried, my dried piece. And then I'm going to get my black piece of paper. This part, you might, um, you might need help with this from an adult. We're going to, oh, my mat is wet with a little bit of color. That's okay though. All right, so I'm gonna fold this. I'm not pushing it down really hard to make a crease. Um, and then I'm going to need to use my scissors again. I am going to cut out some hearts. This might be a little challenging to do on your own if you want to give it a try. Certainly do so. All right. So if I open this up, you can see I've got my three hearts. Okay, then we need our glue. I'm going to use a glue stick. I'm going to just kind of go around these hearts. All right. And then I am going to put my paper towel down. Push it down. All right, I'm gonna show you what we have here. And there is our stained glass hearts. Got a little, it's a little wet from my paint. Um, and then you can put them in your window like that. All right, friends, have fun. <laughs>